in the mystical realm of Doomstone, a quaint town, now dubbed Paris, found itself besieged by an infestation most vile. A teeming horde of rats, led by a nefarious were-rat, lurking beneath the very stones upon which the town was built. The whispers of the were-rat's existence and the ever-growing rat problem echoed through the cobblestone streets, reaching the ears of a brave trio. A druid, an illusionist, and a ranger who decided to delve into the darkness and confront the menace head on. Their adventure began under the cloak of night, as they enlisted the aid of the town's available mercenaries, four light horsemen, and descended into the abyss below the town. The air, thick with tension and the stench of decay, greeted them as they attempted to navigate through the shadowy corridors of the underground. In a peculiar encounter, a giant ant, seemingly disinterested in the adventurers, crossed their path. After a brief and inconclusive skirmish, the ant wandered away, leading them through a bizarrely shaped hallway, which they cautiously explored before returning to their initial path. Determined, they pressed on, eventually discovering a pyramidal chamber its walls whispering secrets of the past and paths yet to be explored. Their curiosity led them to a special room, the very lair of the wearer rat they sought. However, fate, ever the fickle mistress, had other plans. As they stood at the precipice of the wearer rat's domain, a swarm of seventeen giant rats, teeth bared and eyes ablaze with a feral hunger, descended upon them. The ensuing battle was a chaotic maelstrom of flashing steel, gnashing teeth and desperate spells. The illusionist and druid unleashed the arcane fury of colour spray and fairy fire, illuminating the dark with a spectral glow, yet the tide of rats was unrelenting. The illusionist fell under the second wave of the rat onslaught, and in a desperate bid to salvage what remained of their party, the druid, speaking the language of beasts, negotiated a precarious deal with the rats, the lives of their men-at-arms in exchange for safe passage for him and the fallen illusionist. The rats, driven by primal hunger, accepted. However, the ranger, steadfast and unwilling to parley with the vermin, continued his stand, his weapon cleaving through the sea of rats until he too was overwhelmed his final stand echoing in the dark recesses of the lair. The druid, bearing the weight of their losses and the unconscious illusionist, retreated to the surface. The sounds of the rat horde a haunting reminder of the peril that remained below. Back in Paris, the tale of their descent into darkness spread, casting a shadow over the town. The discovery of the Wererat's lair, while a significant victory, was marred by the loss and sacrifice endured by the adventurers. The town, now aware of the malevolent presence beneath their feet, steeled themselves for the battles to come. And so, the tale of the Rat Siege of Paris unfolded, a story of bravery, sacrifice, and the eternal struggle against the shadows that linger when the unknown is plumbed. The adventures in Doomstone, with its secrets, victories and tragedies, would live on, whispered in hushed tones by the fireside in the chill of the night.